नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू दिस एक्साइटिंग एपिसोड ऑफ सथोलॉजी डिबंकिंग मिथोलॉजी आज के शो में मैं आपको जो चर्च या वेस्ट के लोग जो सोचते हैं उसके बारे में बताऊंगा दिस शो इज गोइंग टू बी इन इंग्लिश टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू व्हाट द चर्च इन द रिलीजियस वेस्ट बेसिकली द चर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थिंक अबाउट हिंदूज वेरी क्लियरली यू नो अबाउट इट एंड देन ऑल्सो I will tell the counter to the churches about each of the points that I'm going to mention. So do sit back and watch this entire show with rapt attention and make notes if you can. So, number one, what is the geography of the church? means where the church mindset is prevalent history of church we all know origins are very confused and it is looks like a man made religious system to conquer the natives or indigenous people convert them and then control their properties many legal nation states were created and on the basis of the church and i'm not against church in any way not against any others religious ideas but i want to clarify some doubts and why hindus particularly are targeted to be converted by the church members all over the us and make notes because you will know learn a lot about the church's history many b- professor bart orman and many other people have said it openly that the jesus name person never existed in history according to them and these are the american professors who have said it said it and these research papers are published everywhere now what is the territory primarily occupied by the church the home countries and let's go to the map so this is the first map i'm going to show so this is the the geography of europe and the geography of europe is you can see how what is the continent of europe look like and this is where the church originates generally and uh, if we go into the details this is the length and breadth of the church i have not covering the eastern orthodox church which is here and most of these church institutions they are often rivals so the catholic church is headquartered in italy rome and we all know the history of rome history of rome is is the history of conquest most of the italians know that that the rome was conquered and later on the popes replaced the pantheon of roman gods so the rome itself is a colony of catholic church now and they have given the the slogan go glory and god papal bull and they destroyed the native indigenous populations of the entire south america and tried to do the worst to their colonies like philippines and also many parts of the the pacific islands where they went there with a jealous zeal to spread the word and destroy the history of the natives and they have always preached against them they are barbarians but the biggest murders killings were carried out by the church But that's a history, and everybody knows that. Now, they all call themselves Caucasians because they all think that they came from this area in Georgia. And if you look at the closeness to the east, very close is India. And we all know that the pre-Roman history, they were all Hindus or connected to ancient cultures, Mesopotamia, Sumeria, Parthian. they were all intrinsically extensions of the hindu faith now opposing them was church of england which created church of england henry the 8 and the king of england and now since then the rivalry is going on catholics are separate and christians are separate christians are not catholics catholics are not christians now these two church denominations unite on anti hindu world 
and I will show you how they write and what they write and why it is wrong. And it is for education for the Indians, especially Hindus, English speaking Hindus who live in the West, so that they understand that how these church organizations regularly target Hindus. Now, Hindu temples in the West or the Hindus in the West never target them. Never. All Hindu temples are open. Hindu temples are based on the platform of soul and this is used and uh, how this is misused by these churches to target innocent Hindus in the West. And the church is also against spirituality. Many of the church denominations, they work on the belief world, not the experience. You have to believe. If you don't believe, you are an atheist. This is what they say. Hindus don't think like that. Hindus think in the predominance of soul, soul-based cultures and, uh, and soul-based cultures actually unite societies because they focus on the essential ingredient of a person, his soul, and they focus on the living in harmony with the nature. Most of the exploitation of nature started in all church denominated territories. We can see that nuclear bomb was first used against a non-Abrahamic, non-church society, Japan. And, uh, and then, and this is how it goes on, actions speak louder than words. European philosophers, words are separate, actions are separate. Hindu philosophy is based on karma. And karma means your actions speak louder than words. And church doesn't like karma. Church doesn't like reincarnation, even though they themselves, in their mythology, biblical mythology, they say Jesus came back according to them. That means they accept reincarnation also, but they will teach, oh, Hindus believe in reincarnation. Then the church says, teaches generally, and I'm going to go to specifics actually, of each of the denominations of the church, some major ones I'll pick it up. They say that the Hindus have a caste system. Caste is a European word. Upper caste, lower caste is a European problem. Even the language, English, has capital letters, small letters. So, the caste discrimination or class discrimination is rampant in church-based societies. They have created a system called confession to create a guilt for godmen, artificial godmen they have created, who are going to take the confessions of people and where is the confession for the fathers and so called and we all know the history of Europe very well and that how they were racistly against anyone who is not snow white who is not as white as snow white many of these stories are there whiter than white and is the, all these race based discriminations are rampant in the church based societies and we feel it every time we feel it. They don't want to engage with us. When they come to Hindu temples, they come to convert because they don't have any respect for the Hindus or the Hindu faith or the Vedic culture. And the amount of literature in the Hindu culture, Veda, Purana, Upanishad is so much that the church is jealous of. They don't want, so therefore they engage in such kind of mispropaganda to confuse Hindus and to carry out their task. It's like buying an expensive car or buying a cheap car. You know, very crude example, bad example, but yes, that it is. That the easy, cheap car everyone can afford. But when it comes to sophistication of a soul-based culture, they don't want their followers to go to Hindus. Therefore, they spread this mispropaganda against Hindus all the time. Especially Hindus need to understand because their attacks have become vicious. Going on since the time of colonization of India under the direction of Church of England and Catholic Church. Even today that is going on. So now let's begin the show. So one of the things which comes to the mind is, uh, so this is Europe. I showed you the Europe, length and breadth of Europe. And this continent has produced wars every time. They fight within themselves, they fight against other people, they colonize and look at the condition of Africa. Africa is colonized by 
Catholic France and Protestant England. And I'm doing it in English so that the world audience can understand it. Now, coming back to now, the what do they talk about Hindus? And uh, another thing they say, Hindus are barbarians, Hindus have caste system, and the worst is Hindus have body odor. And I'm going to present you one of the researches of one of the Twitter handles I saw today. And what she has done, wonderful job. My sister has done wonderful job over there. Sister, I'm calling her with respect and uh, admiration of her work. So, let's begin. So, the first I'm going to pick up is the uh, sharing this thread about smells. Because this is what they say. Classification of smells and orders of the senses in Indian religious traditions. Direct attack to Hindus. Direct attack. That Hindus are smelly. Hindus have perspiration odor. Hindus are not. And many uneducated analysts of India quote this all the time. This is a church propaganda. It is done by JSTOR. And, and James Mako is on Harvard University, Department of Sanskrit and Indian Studies. Why does a Christian need to be head of the Department of Sanskrit and Indian Studies? I don't understand that. That email is visible as well. And very, very uneducated, unscientific, and very, very biased report by James Mako. If you are studying in Harvard University, please get out of this religious department. They are so biased against Hindus that you cannot even study Hindus in Harvard University. And this is the kind of report they produce. And I do not know why donors would like to donate to Harvard University when they are spreading hate. And this is what goes on in the society. When I, met, when I meet people, they tell me, Adi, you smell so good. And so, behind the back, they are thinking most of the other Hindus don't smell that good. Let me clarify that doubt with one amazing research produced by one of, the, one of our friends, uh, Sagas of Bharat, and, uh, and that is a Twitter handle. You must follow the Twitter handle. And uh, she has done a wonderful work. So, as for the Indians, this is a quote she produced from book. And uh, as, per, uh, as for the Indians, evidence suggests that they tended to view Europeans with disdain. This is when the Europeans, the Church of England guys reached India. The Vendet in or Ontario, a, a chagrin missionary reported. Again, missionaries spread the wrong news. Comes back to church. The French possess little intelligence in comparison to themselves. Europeans, Indians told other Indians were physically weak sexually untrustworthy, atrociously ugly, and just plain smelly. So, the Indians thought Europeans never take bath, and that is a fact. Recorded in the history of England and other places, they take bath once in three days, once in a week, and put on additional perfume if they can afford. Normally, they don't, can't afford many people. The British and French, many of whom had not taken a bath in their entire lives, were amazed at the by the Indian interest in personal cleanliness. So there goes the the European propaganda of Indians not or Indians smelly. Europeans, they this is the this is a European scholar reporting it. A Jesuit reported that the savages, savages means Hindus, were disguised by handkerchiefs. They say, we place what is unclean in a fine white piece of linen. Lynn put it away in our pockets as something very precious while they throw it upon the ground. And this, if Christian civilization was so wonderful, why were its inhabitants all trying to settle somewhere else? She asked. And this is a European scholar. This is the handle. Okay. Indians and other Asians considered Westerners puzzlingly dirty and it had to do with the religious practices because Christian teachings, unlike Hinduism or other religion, ignored hygiene. This is a European scholar saying it. Okay? So, this goes the propaganda of the church that Indians are smelly or Hindus are smelly, particularly Hindus, basically. 
because their fight is against the Hindus. And the, the point is, the, the mispropaganda goes on till date. Why will a person will tell me that Adi, you smell so good and I take bath three times a day or two times a day minimum, minimum. For these Christian Westerners, bathing up to the neck was a pagan practice which they avoided at all cost. The idea of plunging, this is what the church, this is what was going on in Europe, dirtiness. Nobody in my family took a bath. Recall the Contest de Pange at the turn of the 20th century. The idea of plunging into water up to our necks seemed pagan. So, European pagans, which are Hindus, were also clean. But the church was putting them down because they called bathing as pagan. That's the condition of the church. And I'm debunking it because the Harvard professors and many of the professors who follow Harvard professors have spread so much misinformation resulting in the hatred in the American society, in the European society against Hindus. History is something else. I want to remind all these church fathers who I have very little respect for because of this lack of scholarship. I mean, when, I hear, when you hear their lectures, it looks like somebody speaking a kindergarten. They don't have any knowledge and they are fooling people because people are scared. If you go away, away from the church, go to Mexico, what they do to you? They will kill you. I grew up without ever seeing my navel. Remember one daughter of a rich provin provincial family. So bathing and nudity were rarer still amongst the masses. Most women, observed sociologists, Georges Waker de Lipong, die without having once taken a bath. This is European condition. Very unclean. So those Europeans who talk about Hindus like this, they need to know their history very well. Actually, Hindus and pagans or shamans, they are much more cleaner even today. And Hindus especially, because in the religious culture of Hindus, when you go to restroom, you have to take a shower, either you do one or two, if sometimes the airport, they cannot do it, but at home they do it very clean. And then again, I am over 68 and never have I washed there, protested one woman who found herself in the hospital and threatened with a bath, threatened with a bath. This is the 19th century Europe. I am really thankful to Sagas of Bharat Twitter handle for putting it out. Another, Christian missionaries initially failed at converting Hindus to Christianity. So those fraud Christ missionaries attempted to dress up as Hindu Brahmins to convert Again, again, Christian hypocrisy, a Brahmic hypocrisy in the West. Until date, it's continuing. And many of the Islamic uh, scholars who study in the Western universities pick up this propaganda against Hindus. And some Hindus, who, whose name is Hindus, by the way, they pick up their propaganda to tease Hindus also. But it is all coming from church. Some Hindus suspected that there was something fishy about this stranger with the white skin. They asked him, and this is a European book written by a European scholar. They asked him if he was a Parangi, that is Christian. De Nobly took advantage of the double meaning which the term had acquired. He said he was not a Parangi, but he is a Portuguese, but a Brahmin from Rope. I profess to be an Italian Brahmin who had renounced the world. This is the hypocrisy. Lies, 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 lies. Turned in it till date. Okay. Now, now this is the pictures. This is how they dress up. These are the Christians are dressing up in Hindu clothes. Okay. Making Krishna and Hindu. And this is propaganda done by the ISKCON organizations like ISKCON also. ISKCON, Ram Krishna Paramahans. All these organizations, Hindu organizations do that. Who are infiltrated with such people. And this is S.C. Balon. S.C. Balnos in her book writes that when she came to India to research a Hindu ritual, Brahmanas of Bengal refused to divulge the secrets of religion up front as those Bengali Brahmins used to consider Europeans as impure, naturally impure. They don't take shower. And these Europeans and scholars like Macu from, uh, McHugh from Harvard University produced such kind of nonsense reports on the smell which has permeated in the Western society. So whenever a white, so the whole idea is 
the western women don't mix with indian hindu men that's the whole point and now we all have the reports also that hindu men are some of the best looking men in the world that is the report came out the best looking men the best looking women are hindu men and women and look at the actors most of the non hindu actors working in the bollywood are short short heights like almost like dwarfs and generally hindus are tall and strong and if you want to even check out the history of warfare ask british why they teach the last man standing as battle of saragadi where the hindus defended british soldiers who did not have the guts to fight with the with the attackers okay and world war 1 world war 2 nobody can forget the pictures of indian soldiers in world war 1 in france and 1914 turkey ottoman empire was defeated by indian soldiers under british flag so check out that history even today ask people who engage in in military exercises i mean i was told by one i won't reveal the name somebody i was told i was told by somebody that the the american seal who had done 250 jumps was considered the best of the best uh person i mean in terms of para jumping and he was he was telling them that indian troops do 250 para jumps in a year everybody so you can uh, you understand the difference in military training and and i really detest or i don't want to see a day where indian troops meet the western troops head to head and i think that will happen or not happen and i do not know and there goes the again the church propaganda to the dustbin okay this natural reluctance i'll read this book this natural reluctance became inflexible refusal on the part of brahmans of bengal none of whom would consent to perform those rites in my presence or impart to a female and an impure european any of the mysteries of the religion so they to because they were considered impure in their habits europeans and smelly europeans were smelly even till that i have first hand experienced it and and the propaganda goes on hindus are smelly hindus are dirty hindus are ugly this is what is going on in the church so we, so i want the hindus to hear this in the west especially or living in the colonies of the west australia new zealand us and canada to hear this and counter this propaganda with force and this will create a natural unity and betterment of and less human rights violations within the societies i should meet with individuals less bigoted intolerant than the brahmans of bengal this is what he said okay so this is the history now this is just few passages i have read and this is the condition of europeans taking a bath dirtiness to the height of everything many of them could not even wipe their asses after passing or defecating in in private and these guys are going to teach us or teach hindus or call hindus as dirty this is the barbarians you can almost say like barbarians because what they have done is phenomenally bad now let's go to what the church actually says about hindus because you will be shocked if you are shocked till now you will be shocked more what they say in fact i was now let me show you all the passages which i am reading so that you have a uh, view of all these points this was the passage i read the british and french many of them who had not taken a bath in their entire lives were amazed at the indian interest in personal cleanliness okay and then this is the passage i read that indians and asians considered westerners puzzlingly dirty christian teachings ignored hygiene okay this is a passage i read the third one i read the idea of plunging into water up to our necks seemed pagan nobody in of my family took a bath this is the 19th century europe again some hindus suspected that there was something fishy about this stranger with a white skin
this is what they were saying and this is how they act in India. They, be, they dress up like Hindus. These are Christians to fool Hindus. Again, the church practice of fooling pagans and all these people to just acquire their land and wealth. Even today, church acquires maximum amount of land in India as a private organization, which is a corruption on their part and Indian government must act against them. And in USA and Europe, every single corner has a church. Nobody goes there, but the land has been acquired because the Roman Empire, they, they for them class, the people from the church are higher class, people for others are lower class, caste discrimination. So churches have to stop, Harvard University has to stop and, and actually no Christian must be teaching Hindu culture in the US universities. They have no right to do that. In fact, the USCIRF is the most biased, begotted State Department agency that must be scrapped. Otherwise, the, U the rest of the world is going to ultimately put sanctions on them. They are so, I mean, the cheating tendency of church is so high. Now, they created an imaginary image of Mary with the, with the boy. I don't know what Mary is and all those people. Put in mythology with Krishna and Yashoda. Look at the hypocrisy going on. And in for Hindus, Jesus is a yogi. Again, a fact propagated by many pseudo-Hindu organizations like ISKCON and Ramakrishna Mission and all these organizations. So, there is another one, Krishna and Jesus dancing. This is what the church does for Hindus in USA too. Lutheran Church, very famous for doing this nonsense and many other churches, I don't know. And a disclaimer is there, I may not be knowing the actual name, but I'm just saying this is what goes on in the name of church for Hindus. Anyway, this is one part of it. The whole series is there, follow this handle called Staggers of Bharat to actually see the content. Now, let's go back to the first, which is the Episcopal Church and in the Episcopal Church exploring Hindu spirituality, deeper hundreds of Hindu spirituality in a way that is beneficial to all members. This day long retreat now led by Hindu scholar practitioner Jeffrey Long, Hindu scholar, they say, explore the theme of seeing God everywhere, this is some registration again. Now, again, he is a Karl Ziegler. Now, all these titles are done. Traditional Hindus won't be allowed to enter even there. Elizabeth Town University and uh, Hinduism in America, Convergence of Worlds. Receive the Rajendra and Jyoti Gandhi Book Award, Theology, Philosophy, and Theology is a science of finding God. But they have not found God because God can be found only through yoga. Okay? And I, why people are still talking about Hindu faith if they are not practicing Hindu faith and why there is a need for so much Hindu faith because unless there is a need for understanding and conversion. My question to them. Now, Lutherans. Lutherans, they are saying they have a lot to learn from Hindus but not give up the biblical mythology. That means, engage the Hindus to learn about Hindus and then convert them. This is what goes on. I am totally against all interfaith conferences because Sanatan Dharma is not a faith. It's a reality. Sanatan Dharma or Hindu culture is a reality. Anyone, Native Americans, anybody who worship nature are Hindus. In from my perspective, I may be wrong, but it's my perspective, it's my personal conviction because they worship the Surya, Sun, Chandra, Moon. They consider Earth as divine because, yes, Bhumi is living, wind, Vayu, we worship respect Vayu, we worship Vayu, we worship fire, we worship the nature. We worship soul in all animals. All animals have soul. 
and killing any animal for anything for any reason is bad okay including fishes now coming to a very uh, organization which comes to my home every morning to preach about their gospel a search for liberation in hindu society this jehovah's witness it is religious custom first thing in the morning to bathe in the early river at home if no river is at hand it makes them holy no it is a basic act of cleanliness taking a shower in the morning is a basic act of cleanliness which europeans did not know before okay europeans were dirty they took even today many people take bath in once in 10 days 20 days 30 days and these these people knock at every hindu's homes in the west and many people had a chance to interact i know what they exactly think they come to convert and they come to don't understand they are just there to proselytize for their faith which is a right given to them as well as to hindus also so for them i'll say become a hindu first and leave the biblical mythology so that you can be a better person and not then they write then still without having eaten they go to the local temple absolutely good custom and make offerings of flowers and food to the local god not local god hindu gods are real very real god in biblical mythology is unreal according to hindus according to me because there are many they don't even know the name of god they say jehovah which they took it from old testament some will wash the idol not idol it's a deity and decorate with red and yellow powder yellow red kumkum and and haldi not some power because jehovah's witness doesn't know the healing power of turmeric and healing power of of kumkum they don't know so therefore they write all this nonsense every home has a corner even a room for worship of the family's favorite god not favorite god whatever god they are born into kula devta so the popular god in some localities is ganesh is not elephant god he is son of mahadev he is a devata he removes obstacles he is real more real than anything and anyone in biblical mythology and pray to him for good fortune is more obstacles in other place krishna ram shiva so krishna is bhagwan ram is bhagwan came in a different time shiva is mahadev he is also known as bhagwan shiva durga wife of shiva so these are all the people roaming around in hindus world and pretending to be and and the most funny thing is i saw them in artesia in new york in la dressed up in hindu dress in the corner speaking in hindi the charlatans go to any length because they don't respect you they have no respect for hindus they are there to convert 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 and i also want them to convert now because they cannot go on like this nonsense what is hinduism now they right is, is this just a over simplified western concept no western world has no concept no civilization ganga is coming from the foot of touches the foot of vishnu and in this world mahadev puts it on his head is the most revered river in the world Hinduism is a different way of understanding life Hindu understands life western values are not there there are no values in the western world whatever western world has learned is in the 21st century or 20th century there is nothing more to that the western society because the the entire biblical mythology is fake mm-hmm. is a mythology self repeating cycle human history is very the only history which is written correctly is the hindu history and by hindus themselves not self repeating cycle is a natural order what happens when you die why does the body why don't you keep the body in the hanging in some place so that you can come back no you cannot body is just a cloth it goes away everybody knows no one has come back after death 
it is no easy task to define Hinduism because you don't want to understand. You have to understand. It has no definite creed, priestly hierarchy or governing agency. Sanatan Dharma's governing agencies are Devatas. There is a hierarchy, there is Acharya, there is a Guru, there is hierarchy there. It has no definite creed, it has, it has the only creed. Jehovah's Witness has no creed. The whole complex of beliefs and institutions appeared from time when the ancient scriptures, the Vedas, were composed until now. Vedas are still relevant today. They are explained by Puranas. Puranas contain Vedic knowledge. It's the oldest knowledge system in the world from which Christians have stolen. It's a biblical mythology, a hodgepodge collection of all wise words. Hodgepodge. There is no credence to Jehovah's Witness. Another one states, that this is how negatively they write. And they pick up some communists from India. Hindus are not polytheistic. Absolutely true. Polytheism, monotheism, pantheism is a western disease. It's a Christian disease. It has no relevance to India. No connection with Vedas. Brahma. It is, says, it is said that the Brahman, Paramatma, Bhagwan, Iti Shabdite. So you can understand God that as an all-pervading Brahman, energy of God, Paramatma living in the heart and Bhagwan, the personality. Every Devata is as important as Bhagwan himself because Bhagwan works through Devata. So Ganesh is important, Shivji is important, Durga is important. There is no such divinity in the entire western world. Jehovah's Witness is running on fake promise, fake just to collect some money. If I remove the salary of all these preachers, None of them are going to go out. Some of them work voluntarily because they get some other benefit. Total negative press. Total negative nonsense written on JW website. And which is not, if you want to really learn, read my books. Read my books and leave the biblical mythology. If you really want. You tell us to leave our culture, I tell you to leave your culture. Totally nonsense. While Hinduism may not be as widespread as some other major religions, nevertheless, it commanded the loyalty of nearly 700 followers. No. Hinduism, native cultures, indigenous cultures, they make up 4.5 billion people on the world and many, many Christians, especially Jehovah's Witness people are also leaving Christian mythology, Jesus mythology, biblical mythology, every day. Okay, so it is a growing number, very large number. So most of the countries that has been acquired by Jehovah's, by the biblical mythology are poor. Only the Europe is rich because all the money from Africa goes to Europe in the name of religion. All the money from South America goes to Europe in the name of religion. All the money from everywhere else goes to Europe in the name of religion. And the churches receive so much donations in the U.S. to go outside for conversions. Please stop this exercise. Hinduism has its roots from the beginning of creation, not 3500 years. European scholars have no idea. Most of the scholars, archaeologists in Europe or in the West have no idea. Okay, They are talking from a bubble. Now let's go to another one. Enough from Jehovah's Witness. There is nothing more to say. It's a hate world website. It's a hate website. Totally hate. And they come to every single colony. Like today, this day, they will be knocking on our doors also in the West. So just be beware of them. Three Murti in Hinduism. One for construction, one for protection. Like very loosely they explain. This is how they misguide. So if any of you guys in the world best believe your churches, then you are the most illogical people. You cannot believe in them. So the word believe itself is negative. You should know. If you believe, you don't know. If you know, you don't have to believe. Just remember this. And I can go on and on. No, I'm tired of this. Vadanti tattva tattva vidas tattva mijgana madhvayam 
ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान इति शब्दते दैट इज अ वर्स फ्रॉम कृष्ण स्पीकिंग टू स्पीकिंग टू द वर्ल्ड टू उद्धव अबाउट दिस सो आई हैव प्रेजेंटेड यू फैक्ट्स बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट दे से I covered three main churches: Church of England, and Church of uh, and Catholic Church, and organizations like Jehovah's Witness, illegal organizations. But anyway, this they are being promoted by the state. If there is no salary given to them, nothing is going to happen. We don't get money from anyone. We are here doing it for the love of Sanatan Dharma. Not even sometimes even Hindus ignore us. We are doing. We love Sanatan Dharma. We love Veda. We love Purana. We love Mahabharat, Ramayana. That's our culture. We love yoga, Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Ask most of these church people are going to do go to yoga, and they came up with another farce called Christian yoga. There is no Christian and yoga together. Yoga is Sanskrit word. Yoga means following Veda. Yoga means you are a Hindu. You are a follower of Veda. You may don't call yourself Hindu. It's okay. So when you say Christian yoga, that means Christian disappears. You are a yogi. So be a yogi. And uh, and we want our even our Hindus don't support us. Even our nobody support. We do it for love of Sanatan Dharma. Nobody pays us. No government supports us. No Indian government doesn't support us. You all blame churches. Blame Narendra Modi for everything. They don't give us any money. They don't give us any support. Not even encouragement. We do it for the love of Sanatan Dharma. We do it for the love of Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu. We do it for the love of our devatas. We depend on our devatas. We depend on our culture, our our love in our hearts for our devata. If any of these jehova witness and church pe- people are not supported by their governments they will disappear in 5 days just for funding they are not there but we are doing it for the love because we are hindu i am a hindu i am a proud hindu and i thought there is a need for producing this video because i have heard so much that i'm tired of it so thank you all for watching do like share subscribe Tell others about this video. Share this video widely, and let us defend Hindu culture, native culture, indigenous culture, pagan culture, shaman culture, pagan and shaman negative words promoted by the church. Let us defend them against all these Western propaganda, including the propaganda in the universities by these churches. Thank you. Namaste. Jai Jagannath. I hope you like this video.